Hey, this is Robot here. ScooterWest.com, Vespa Motorsport. I want to show you a different mirror option for the GTS or it'll fit all the other models of Vespas for the most part. Anything that has a bar end on it, uh, GTVs. Believe it or not, the Sprints and Primaveras, if you hollow out the end of the, um, the grip, you could put a bar end. There's already a thread insert for it, for a bar end mirror. It needs a couple washers to shim it out. But most people are interested in on the, putting these on the GTS. Uh, a lot nicer looking than the, the stock, you know, whatever you want to call them, lollipops that come on these uh, scooters. They have a complete kit. You know, it's not just some off the shelf motorcycle bar and uh, set up. We've included all the hardware, the mount, the bar ends on either the, uh, the stock handlebar weights or the, the longer large uh, handlebar weights that are found on the, um, the GTS. If you have the top case kit, it includes the larger bar end weights. Um, also includes these uh, rubber plugs that cap off the reservoir covers, kind of where the um, original mirrors, if you really wanted to get crazy with them, you could paint them. They can match the scooter, but you can see the black looks, you know, a good contrast on this titanium scooter. Uh, they work pretty good. They have a, like a convex um, mirror surface to them. You can tighten them. It's on a nylon uh, ball. The whole, whole uh, mirror assembly is all made of aluminum. It's anodized black. And part number on that is mr dash Bar end, MR dash B A R E N D. Mm -hmm. So the kit includes all the tools and all the necessary hardware to install it on any of the GT, GTSs, any of the, the large frame Vespas, modern Vespas that are 200cc to 300cc. So you have the mirror itself, and you can see it has this um, aluminum insert that can rotate on by just loosening those two fasteners has all the Allen keys for adjusting it, has the two plugs, and it comes with both uh, long, long screws and the shorter screws in stainless steel. So pretty simple install to, to put on. Uh, if you wanna go for the larger uh, bar and weights, we have those available. They're also included with the top case kits. Uh, they're gonna be in chrome if you buy them with the, with, when they're included with the top case. A lot of people opt for the black ones. We have them custom powder coated. They're the original factory bar ends. Part number on this is 599-399-BK, and you'll need a pair of them. The nice thing about having the larger weights is it kind of um, isolates a lot of the vibration from the road. You know, makes the scooter handle a little bit better. Does add a little bit to the width by having the, the larger bar ends, but they're quite heavy. Yeah, they're made out of steel, not just aluminum or plastic bar end. So just remove your stock mirrors. A lot of times to remove them, you don't even need a 17 millimeter wrench, nor do you need to remove the reservoir covers. You can just unscrew them in a counterclockwise fashion and they'll thread right out of the reservoir covers. Uh, another option why you'd maybe wanna use the bar end uh, mirror setup is maybe you, you've uh, stripped out the threaded boss that's in the master cylinder. It can be repaired, but this is like a cheap, easy replacement if you can't use the stock mirrors. So once you get the mirrors out, just pop the rubber plugs in. Um, if they don't fit all that tight, these ones fit pretty good. You can put a real small amount of silicone to hold them in place. Not that difficult to do, so I'm not gonna show how that works. Uh, remove your old bar ends. If you have the stock, um, stock bar ends, you're gonna use a, a a four millimeter Allen key. And if you have the larger bar ends with the top case, it's gonna be the larger five millimeter Allen key. Sometimes these uh, bar ends are quite stuck on the grip. So, you know, it's what I've found. Sometimes you rotate the uh, bar end counterclockwise as you're turning the Allen key. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the stock fastener for the um, stock bar end that's on a scooter. Get the bar in, comes with the black screw. It's not quite long enough for the, uh, the bar end mirror. So. so two options for the screws. You're gonna have the extra long screws in here, which are gonna be for your long bar ends. And then 
that's for your stock bar in. And pretty simple, you just pretty much put the screw right in there and tighten that up against the, um, the bar end. I'm gonna use the longer screw, I'll show you how that works with the, um, so go ahead and get the setup. And just get it started. There's a nylon washer you can see inside the bar in there. And sometimes you gotta uh, twist the mirror out of the way so it clears the, uh, the Allen wrench as you're tightening it down. And I'm just gonna leave everything kind of loose right now. You wanna adjust your position of how the, the mirror works. Uh, two options, you can have the mirror uh, up and over like that, or another option is you can have it under and you'd flip the mirrors. You put the left on the right, and then, you know, it's just personal preference how you wanna have it set up. Uh, you can see this ball. You wanna have some friction on it, and you can adjust it by loosening and tightening these, these pair of screws, you know, based on how much friction. And that's enough where you can easily adjust it right now. And, you know, that's kind of ideally how you want to have it, where you can make adjustments. And same with this rotation, kind of figure out the best location. And once you have a, a good location for the mirror, you can just get the Allen key in there and just go ahead and snug, snug it down, so. Now it doesn't rotate, just a friction fit right up against the bar end. And it works, they work amazingly well for such little mirrors. You know, they're a little further out than the stock mirrors, so you have better visibility and they're whatever they are, convex or concave. No, they're convex, I guess it would be. So you kind of have a, wild, a wider uh, field of vision, you know, when you're looking through the mirror.